We are on a three week road trip through all parts of Norway. We are hiking, we see fjords, beautiful lakes, glaciers, mountains, beaches, the midnight sun, cities. Kristiansund lies on multiple islands, so the ocean is never far away. Most nights are spent in our tents. Here is our tent. We always use the outer layer in case it rains. We have been using this thing. It's not very heavy. Ready to cook. We just love driving. And this has been the perfect vacation for the summer of 2020. On this episode, but what exactly are fjords? This is pretty beautiful, isn't it? This is where the hike started to be, well, not great. <laughs> the real glacier. The world's longest road tunnel. Norway's biggest tree. Just look at the color of this. The reflection of the mountains. Wow. In this video, we see the beautiful fjords in western Norway. We go for a hike to get a better view of the fjords. We also drive through the world's longest road tunnel. And we visit the biggest city of western Norway, Bergen. Last night, we set up our tent in this amazing nature and had dinner with a gorgeous view. It is a new day. We are driving through the mountains at over a thousand meters in elevation. And there is lots of snow here. We are now in Vestland Fylke, the fifth biggest fylke in Norway by area and the third most populous. The biggest town is Bergen. The road goes down again and we see this beautiful lake called Opstrinsvatna, close to the town Strin. We park the car to get a closer look of the lake. Vegard is impatient. Is he thirsty? It is not salty because it is a lake and not a fjord. In the previous episode, we also saw some fjords like Rumdalsfjorden at Omdalsnes and Geirangefjorden at Geiranger. Norway is famous for the fjords and there are many of them. But what exactly are fjords? Fjords are narrow and long inlets. That's water that is connected to the sea. But we can still be far inland. It's like the land has been ripped and filled with seawater. They are formed by glaciers and have steep U-shaped sides. We stopped at this lake, but now we have reached a regal fjord. This is Invikfjorden. We want to get a better view of the fjord and we go for a hike, close to the town Luen. Here are coordinates to parking. The view is already really beautiful. Just a short walk from the parking spot. Good morning from Luen. We are currently hiking a mountain and we are hoping for some good views from here. It's pretty beautiful, isn't it? The hike starts easy on a gravel road. But we forgot water and food and we are already a bit hungry so Vegard walked back to the car to go and get some. Vegard told me to keep walking and we could catch up. I walked a bit, but then stopped to wait for him. This is where the hike started to be, well, not great. See, I waited for him pretty long and it didn't catch up with me. Turns out he had found a shortcut through the forest, off the gravel road, where all the other people walked too, but I had stayed on the road. No wonder we didn't find each other. Well, we are together again now. We have left the forest and the hike is pretty tough now. It is steep and it is raining. Also, we are hungry and cold. And to be honest, I didn't research this hike well enough. My hope was that when we reached the top of the mountain, we could get a view of Opstrinsvatna, the lake we have visited earlier. Because on the map, it seems like we could have gotten a view from it. But this is the view that we had. If we would have kept on walking, we would eventually have seen the view, but it is foggy, it is raining, we're hungry and cold. After 2 hours and 20 minutes, we are turning around. And when we thought we had had all the bad luck of the day, I stepped in sheep poop. <laughs> you stepped in poop. Well, at least we got a hike and this fantastic view. Not all hikes are successful, but I'm still happy we went on this hike for the experience. I told you fjords are created by glaciers. We drive off the main road to see a glacier. 
Here behind me you can see a real glacier. It's called Bøyabren. Now let's see if we can take a closer look. This glacier is one of the most easily accessible glaciers in all of Norway. I see now we could have parked closer. <laughs> there it is, lying on top of the mountain. Bøyabren is an arm of the larger Justedalsbren, one of Norway's biggest glaciers. Look at the color of the water, so beautiful and super cold. It's a real glacier. And there is some more glacier. It is just two minutes walking from the car and proper footwear are crocs. <laughs> yeah, they worked. It is getting late and we found a camping right at a fjord. The Sognefjord, the largest and deepest of all the fjords in Norway. It goes 205 kilometers inland and from here the distance to the sea is about 140 kilometers. Yet this water is connected to it. We had a great calm night here. We put up our tent and fell asleep to the sound of the water. The next morning we are on our way to the biggest city in western Norway. But to get there we have to drive through the world's longest road tunnel. And how long is it? 24.5 kilometers. That's more than 15 miles. Aren't we falling asleep in this long and boring tunnel? Nope, because it's not that boring. Look, there are these cool light things inside. They are made so that drivers don't fall asleep or get too bored while driving. Nice, huh? We are approaching Western Norway's biggest city, Bergen. Norway's second largest city is surrounded by mountains and sea. Trading in the city may have started as early as in the year 1020, so maybe already a thousand years. The people have been coming here for a long time. And this is what it's famous for, the rain. At least that is what I think when I think about this city. <laughs> what I didn't know yet was that this city has lots of beautiful flowers and parks and big pedestrian roads, colorful and cute wooden houses. This is called Brigin, old wooden houses. Brigin was built as early as in the year 1070 and it was a very important place for international trading for hundreds of years. Today there are little shops inside, so it's actually still a place for trading. So Bergen has mountains, and to get up of one of those mountains, there is Fløyban, a cable car. We too want to climb a mountain to get a view over the city, but we do not want to use Fløyban today. There are too many people, and with Corona it is better to stay away from the crowds. We use our legs instead. This is probably the fourth time it's raining today. Yep, it rains and stops, rains and stops, and rains and then stops. There are great roads here to climb this mountain. And it's sunny again. And it's raining again. This here is Norway's biggest tree. In 2016, the diameter of the tree was 1.25 meters. Its height was 50.3 meters. So that's a really tall tree. Just look at the size of it. Look, compared to me, it's huge. <laughs> It was planted in the year 1900, so it's already 120 years old. If Norway would have had a tropical rainforest, it would have been here. It is so green and lush, but it's not cold. And Bergen doesn't get super cold during the winters either. We made it. We made it to the top. And it's sunny again. Yep. For the 10th time, probably. <laughs> <laughs>
We have left Badien, we have taken two ferries, and now we're ready to see a lake. And it is not any lake, it is a lake with a really special color. This is the water running from the lake, and we are following it upstream. Just look at the color of this. This is the lake. It is called Bonhusvatna. Here are coordinates to the parking. It is so beautiful. This is probably the most beautiful lake I've ever seen. There is a glacier nearby, Folgifona, so the water is super cold. Notice the color and how calm it is. The reflection on the mountains. Wow. We spent about 30 minutes walking to this lake, and I can definitely recommend it if you're close. Who is also close is Vegard's dad, who is staying here in Rusendal with his RV. We were invited to sleep inside the RV for the night. Thank you! With our trip now, we've driven about 5,000 miles or 8,100 kilometers, which is a great amount driving in Norway. 